Okay, so I've been procrastinating for about a week or two really about how to get the power from the batteries uh, out of the box into the bike and I think I've got it all worked out now. So during my procrastination I had a good chance to uh, solder up a whole bunch of these little XT30 double up connectors. The idea being that the tubes are 72 volts uh, sorry are 37 volts each I want 72 volts so put two tubes in series using one of these so positive of one side connected to the negative of the other one kind of like you can see there and then obviously going to run a positive and negative out uh, to the rest of the system and then what I've also done is I've brought out quite a thin um, center tap for and that I'm going to join together for all of these and the idea being then that I'll always be able to uh, if the top and bottom battery packs get out of balance I should always be able to um, detect that using the center tap and put an amp or two and kind of charge or discharge that the higher or the low one so I've got some uh, 50, decent 15 amp cable it's not very surprising how thin 15 amp cable is but it's it's pretty good stuff I'm sure it's going to be fine the tubes in theory will only give me uh, 10 amps for uh, so they'll do 10 amps pretty much continuous but any more than that they'll cut out after about 10 seconds anyway so the whole thing should be pretty safe and then um, there are two things so in terms of getting out of the box I think a couple of IP68 glands like that um, with some of this 35 square millimeter cable is going to be the way to do it but there are two other bits to consider so of a few things to consider so one of them is you can't really see it but in there i've been playing around a bit i actually want to put the the main fuse it's kind of stuck in there right now but i've got a big a and l fuse and i think they should be good for um that should be good for 72 volts and that's a 200 amp fuse and i was kind of pondering i, I think in, inside the box is the right place for the fuse so i was kind of thinking something like slotted in there and bring all the positives of the tubes together into a um, crimp terminal put that onto there and then from the other side uh, run out with the orange cable through ip68 out of the box and the other bit that i also actually was hoping to put inside the box but i don't think it's going to work is i've got one of these uh, 350 amp shunts that runs the little coulomb counter to keep track of the charge of the battery uh, so I think at the moment I'm thinking this is going to have to be uh, on the motor plate near the motor controller. Um, obviously batteries B- minus to the battery side and B- minus to the motor controller side. Um, so I'm thinking that it's, it's just there's no way to fit it in here very well. There's no way to fit it on the back very well. Um, the, all the cable would have to kink too tight to make that work. And then the other thing I'm going to add is so the black and red cable, oh, sorry, the, the two orange cables, but the positive and negative are going to come out of the box. And then that's going to go into a couple of those. Um, those are the 185 amp uh, Anderson connectors. So they're the, like the really big size of your hand style ones. So that's, that'll allow me to basically disconnect the battery pack from the rest of the bike um, by just pulling the one connector. So I'll get started on that and um, come back a bit later and show progress. Well, it's been an eventful day and not in a particularly good way. I uh, can show you this bit down here. This was my original attempt at wiring all this up. And I think the problem I m or the mistake I made was to um, pre-wire all the connectors and then think that I would just be able to crump it all together into the... Uh, kind of the the joiner for the negative and into the um the uh, the crimp lug or into the lug for the positive and that didn't end up working very well i ended up with a mess um wires crisscrossed just didn't work really well uh, i ended up uh, cutting off the all the reds thinking that what i could do is sort them out and then resolder them but that would mean that every uh, every connection would be going through a solder joint so just not ideal just not pretty so I basically gave up uh, got rid of all this chopped it all out and then um, what I've done now is I've, I've pre-cut some wires that should be long enough red and black and I've got them wired into the fuse holder and into the, the joiner to the orange cable in there 
and the idea is going to be to now start from one side and just um, wire them in place basically so so keep it all kind of uh, you know kind of network cable systems kind of tidying so just make everything as neat as possible um, yeah so lesson learned the hard way unfortunately but I mean, most of this will be reusable but it's just a pain in the ass and then the other thing I found out obviously is that um, because I charged all these batteries at different times and uh, they were all at, at slightly different voltages so I had some of them uh, cutting out when I was connecting them to other ones and that kind of thing so I'm just going through and just um, charging them all up uh, just so they're all at roughly the same voltage and then I'll join them all up after there cool um, I did get the uh, kind of see up there I did get the um, the glands in place for getting the wires in and out that oh, sorry that red wire that's there by itself that one is going to be for the center tap just so i can get access to it and then i've got a positive and negative that'll wire into the uh, anderson connector okay so it's just about ready to uh, put this cover on and i thought this might be the last opportunity to see the inside of the battery box here so i've got everything wired up the uh, wiring system um, went a little bit better the second time round. i still have the reminders from the last attempt uh, so everything fitted in fairly well. I think the cover is going to go on just fine. And um, yeah, so all the connections are done. I've got all the center taps coming together. They're, they're leaving the box as well, also fused uh, just for in case. I've got a, the 200 amp a &L fuse up there. And then everything just pops out. Oops, the top here um, into one of those big 185 Andersons. And that's the, the center tap coming out there. So yeah, um, progress.